Good morning from Europe. Good afternoon, good evening, guys, whatever we are. 14th of December 2020. London market is open Monday. Piotr here is live for his global YouTube channel. And another light in the tunnel when it comes to the Brexit. So again, pound in demand. Uh, we've seen pound gapped up everywhere at the open and uh, trying to continue here at the very beginning of the European session. Let's start with the cable. Uh, we are going to go a uh, few uh, pound uh, charts briefly, quickly. Let's have a look what we have. Just the friendly reminder tomorrow, very early morning ahead of the uh, London Open, we do have UK, uh, UK uh, job market and um, it looks like uh, market is looking for a much higher unemployment rate going back above 5 to 5.2 versus 4.8 previously but average earnings index um, also market is looking for a uh, higher reading 2.2 versus 1.3 uh, so well if we are going to get that numbers uh, that might be some kind of the mixing a little bit because of the earnings in favor of the pound but anyway Weekly uh, on the cable looks like this, and I'm try I'm going to uh, try to compare the distance uh, between what we've seen previous week high and high two weeks ago, and I'm going to make that measure placing and trying to measure how high from here based on this combination pound can go. As you can see. Uh, it's possible to retest the open of the previous week and the previous week high, right? So that's the that's the first possible supply zone. Of course, anything in relation to the previous week close and the low as uh, the demand zone. So the previous week uh, range may dictate uh, what's going to happen uh, with the pound. Pound is. Uh, pushing uh, pushing higher through the uh, or trying to fight with the Thursday high right now okay and uh, Tuesday high as well is very interesting but for me the most in interesting combination here the most uh, interesting combination here is this supply based on the daily chart and the swing high let's make it visible like this so we are talking about the levels close to uh, 35 right and uh, that's where I'm going to look for selling opportunity uh, if we are going to hit that level from the intraday perspective that's the liquidity above uh, Wednesday high right uh, what about the downside well I like very much uh, I like very much this lows over here before we were trying to went through on friday right so in that case we are talking about the levels close to 30 to 50 based on the daily as you are going to see in a second on a smaller time frame it looks a little bit a little bit different so still something we discussed as a uh, previous week range uh, in play here uh, let's switch lower and that's the most important thing in my opinion look at this guys uh, let's remove all this look at this Friday latest uh, weakness all right so pound gapped incredibly high above these levels and for now during the first hour of the open we retest this latest weakness and with this combination trying to go uh, trying to go higher taking into the consideration at least this type of one to one, right? I see them retesting this green zone, supply zone, right? So how can we try to join the party? Well, as long as we are above, as long as we are above blue dashed line, right? Uh, so that's the weekly open and uh, within that uh, range of the latest Friday weakness, uh, that's where the um, I see the buying opportunity for the retest of the higher uh, of the higher levels. Anything uh, with the close below weekly open and um, close below uh, 33, 
15 as this latest weakness fairy 3 let's say uh, it might be a little bit weird and uh, bulls may eventually lose the uh, lose the momentum so trying to summarize the pound i'm looking to buy uh, within the uh, 3350 33 zone uh, targeting uh, something close to uh, 34 50 35 on the cable euro pound is very interesting as well um previous week upper shadow uh suggested that something might be uh going on gapped down we are fighting here at the weekly open so meaning that uh meaning that uh here is not that on the weekly chart not that bad from the bulls perspective yet but if we are going to check the situation on the daily it looks a little bit ug uglier we just close the gap overnight and pushing lower uh, so upper shadow retest of the gap going lower below the uh, below the weekly open the good thing is uh, this possible very wide demand zone i would take 50 percent so i'm going to watch something around 90 40 90 from the uh, bulls perspective all right and uh, if we are going to try to hold that level if not then the retest of the lower levels here uh, towards uh, 89 80 could be the case right and finally retest of uh, 80 uh, 89 that's how i see the things if you are going to break through psychological uh, 90 level and from the intraday perspective what i'm gonna to look for at some point uh, maybe we are going to get it uh, i'm going to look for uh, from the buying perspective anything low down towards as i mentioned 90 40 90 right but i see possibility of the nice supply around the levels close to 90 140 so with the possible gap closing and 9140 was our previous target that could be the uh, the selling uh, opportunity the next one is a pound yen and here a uh, very interesting situation on the daily chart taking into the consideration uh, the failure right on friday right lower shadow move and close move and close above 137.50 and moving higher so if with this with this uh, lower shadow right uh, looks like stop hunt to the upside could be in place so what could be the solution here uh, market is trying to do the same as with the cable trying to hold intraday friday weakness right but in that case here i would rather wait or maybe a little bit deeper move and retest some kind of the over under so either retest this level here around 137.90 or friday uh, or or the friday uh, attempt to break lower towards 137.50 so 37.90 37.50 as a buying opportunity uh, daily close uh, under these levels are going to cancel the bear, uh, bullish bullish view pound cut a uh, very similar situation uh, market was trying to break to the uh, downside leaving the lower shadow pushing higher but here is the here is the problem because we didn't manage to open above any kind of the important supply we are testing important supply or we are going to test important supply here so in case you are looking for fate the pound riley pound cut could be the case here around uh, 71 uh, 50 72 50 i'm going to look uh, for the price action around these uh, levels if you like what you see to the upside uh, i would say the uh, thursday low and uh, close in the combination of the friday body as a buying range so in that case uh, levels close to uh, 69 and 68 uh, 50. so that's pound versus canadian dollar 
and uh, another one is the pound versus Swiss franc. Here, uh, I think that as long as we are holding uh, the low around 116.3550, uh, right? Higher levels to come, uh, but it's a very similar situation to what we have with the uh, Canadian dollar, right? Uh, we are testing. We are testing possible uh, possible supply over here, right? Possible supply over here because from here we went lower through this low, uh, so some kind of the rejection. I would wait for the retest of seventeen fifty, some kind of the consolidation on lower time frame, and then attempt to go higher, or I will wait. For a clear break and move back, uh, move back above uh, 120 on the pound Swiss franc. So that's how I see the things uh, after the quick uh, analysis uh, on the pound uh, after the uh, gap higher uh, in relation to the uh, light in the tunnel when it comes to the Brexit. Be careful, guys. Uh, end of the year is uh, coming. So maybe lower your exposure and uh, and uh, do your own homework as well. With that being said, guys, again, don't be trapped. See you around. Take care and bye.